What's going on, y'all? This big C. I wanted to touch on this topic, but I said I'll wait a day or two and let some of the smoke clear. And I'm going to talk about the bishop who supposedly got robbed from 400000 to a million dollars in jewelry. And one of the things I wanted to say, first of all, see, I grew up in the church as a child. And I understand, you know, the meek shall inherit the earth. I understand that we walk by faith, not by sight. And a lot of the good teachings that I learned in the church, but what the, the most important teachings that I learned, and this was later on in life, is that I believe that our God is a God of abundance and that he will provide. So I'm not knocking that man for having whatever amount of jewelry that he wanted to have. That's his business, you know what I'm saying? He could have as much jewelry as he want, no problem. But this bishop who got robbed on a live stream, my problem is this. This was a storefront church that looked like it probably used to be a, 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 a Chinese chicken spot before it became a church. It looks so raggedy in the front that when you see the live stream, you can't even tell that it's in the same facility. But here's my problem. Now, I don't know whether or not if this was a setup by him, one of his parishioners. I don't know if, you know, this was a scam. I don't know what, you know, what this shit was really about. But what I will say is this. If you can afford 400000 to a million dollars in jewelry, and that's not a problem, because I'm from the Reverend Ike School of Church. You know what I'm saying? I believe that our God is an abundant God. But my biggest problem is this. You trying to tell me that you got this raggedy ass storefront church in the front, a million dollars, quote unquote, in jewelry, and your parishioners probably suffering, and especially post pandemic, everybody right now, money tight, they're going through all type of situations, they're trying to get their life back together, and you running around here with a million dollars worth of jewelry? Nah, I don't believe that to be so. What I do say is this, I've seen all types of snake oil salesmen in my life, and this uh, Bishop Lamar Whitehead or Whitmore, whatever his name is, I'm sad to say, I see a snake oil salesman and don't get it wrong, I'm not, I don't judge what he's doing. My problem is, regardless of whatever you do, then at least your parishioners in your church, they're supposed to eat twice on Sunday. So that tells me you ain't taking care of your people. Listen, I'm gonna start posting my cash app because if people wanna give money to guys like this, at least send me a couple dollars. At least you will know that I'll be taking care of my children with the money you send me. Yo, listen, this is Big C. Shh. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. But more importantly, be good to yourselves. I'm out.